All right. Thank you so much, everybody, for joining today. And thank you for Bever to Beverly Hills Bar Association for hosting this webinar. Uh, really excited to talk about Google Review Reviews 101 for law firms. My name is Jake Derzayich. I work with Connect. Uh, we are partnered with Beverly Hills Bar Association, and uh, I am in our partner management department here at Connect. So we work uh, on a day-to-day -day basis with law firms that use Connect and um, very tuned in to uh, what people are experiencing when it comes to uh, the difficulties with law firms and um, and uh, just the, the, daily, the daily challenges and the daily situations. So we're going to talk today about a little bit about Connect, who we are, and then also talk about, um, like I mentioned, Google Reviews 101, uh, something that's very important uh, today for law firms and something that we focus on a lot with our customers. So who is Connect? We are a text messaging platform built for law firms throughout North America. So we help law firms communicate more efficiently, generate new leads, conduct video consultations, and drive online reviews. Okay, those are one of our, some of our areas of focus here when it comes to using Connect at a law firm. We partner with some of the leading CMS systems in the legal industry. Some of them are listed here. Um, we're really excited about these partnerships that we have, and it allows to allows for law firms to increase efficiency when it comes to communication and their case management system. We were named to the Inc. 5000's list of America's fastest growing private companies for the second year in a row this year. Um, we've experienced a lot of growth and uh, we're really excited about the future. This type of growth wouldn't be possible though without great partners like Beverly Hills Bar Association. So we're really grateful to them for their partnership. Connect was built on the idea that your clients prefer text mes messaging. Okay, Harvard recently did some study here and they found that 89% of clients would prefer to interact with businesses via text messaging rather than a phone call. All right, so uh, the next one here, 98% of all text messages are opened, 95% are read within three minutes. A quick anecdote here, I was talking with a coworker of mine and he was showing me something on his phone. I noticed that his email app had over 130,000 unread emails, 130,000. That's obviously an extreme example, but I'm sure that uh, all of us can relate in some way at some level to that, right? Emails are, are going unread. There's so much junk, so much spam out there that uh, emails are going unread. On the other hand, I looked at his text messaging app and he had one unread text message. Okay, so that was further evidence to me that this is where clients are. This is where they prefer to communicate. It's through text messaging. 96% of clients find phone calls to be disruptive. There's even settings now on phones where you can block calls from unknown numbers. Um, this kind of illustrates how, how people are thinking when it comes to phone calls. And 70% of US clients say receiving text message is the fastest way to reach them for important updates and information regarding their case. So let's look at the top ways that law firms are using Connect right now. Uh, the first one here, scheduling appointments, setting automated reminders, and sending status updates. So this is just creating the efficiency of communication within your law firm. The next one is sending quick information through templates. So within Connect, you can create templates that allow you to send messages with, with the click of a button. And these are messages that you'd normally send on a regular basis. So uh, hours, maps, you know, your location, how to get to your, your uh, firm. Uh, thank you for your business message. You know, please leave us a review, those types of messages. You can create templates for those so that you can send them out quickly. The next one here is sending targeted case reminders and scheduled notices. So um, you can schedule messages out in the future and you can send uh, case reminders with that and, some, and automate some of that communication, increasing efficiency there. You can collect payments through text messaging. You can video chat with clients, like I mentioned previously. Uh, law firms are using Connect to attach and send photos, videos, invoices, and PDFs. Um, they're generating online reviews on Google and Facebook, which is what we'll be talking about today, and capturing more leads from Facebook, Instagram, and your website. So that's kind of an overview of how Connect is being used right now. I want to jump into just a couple of those aspects before we jump into Google Reviews 101 um, to see what those look like within Connect. 
as a customer of Connect, we will set up a, a text us button on your website that allows a customer to initiate a text conversation with you through your website. So I go to a, a law firm's website, I'll click on that text us button, and I'll have the option here from this menu to choose the department. Um, on this example, we have business law, civil litigation, personal injury. We can customize this menu here um, to make that whatever you want to, to make it specific to your firm. And then as a customer or a potential client, I'll click on one of those areas, I'll send in that message, and that message will go straight into your Connect inbox, which looks like this from the desktop. Okay, so it's very clean, very straightforward. And one thing that I'll point out is with those leads coming in from your website, we can customize where those are going, who they're going to. So we can route them to the appropriate people within your firm and make sure that the users of Connect within your firm are seeing only what's relevant to them, making sure that their time is, is well spent and that they're being most efficient. I mentioned text to pay. Uh, this can be really big when it comes to law firms. Um, you can use this, well, let me back up a step. What you're doing here within Connect is you are sending a payment request to a customer through a text message. So a specific link is generated. The customer can click on that and they can follow that link to this page here where they can leave their card number and they can get you paid this way. So it's 100% secure, PCI compliant. We've found that law firms are getting paid faster and, and thus reducing their accounts receivable. We're capitalizing on that 98% open rate, right? So people might not see an email uh, that you send them that's requesting payment, but they'll definitely see a text message and have the opportunity to get you paid really quickly. We've seen law firms collect retainer fees and, uh, and payments through this, and uh, the, the volume of payments that are being processed through Connect is steadily increasing. So a couple quick highlights there of the platform, just wanted to highlight those. Let's jump into Google reviews and talk about that. I'm, I'm always surprised to see and hear that some law firms are still just not on board with managing their online reputation. It is so important to manage your online reputation, and that starts with Google reviews. So let's start at the beginning here. What are Google reviews? These are the primary method for clients to share feedback about businesses, okay? So clients can review your business, and really anyone using Google can review your business and leave a star rating. So that's really important to point out, is that anybody who has a Google account can go and leave a review for your business. And I think in some ways, this kind of scares people away from really taking control of that online presence and managing these reviews. Sometimes people say, well, anybody can leave anything they want about my business, so I'm, I'm not gonna mess with it. it. It must not be valid. Um, we know that that's not the case, that, this, that these reviews are very important and very valid. Um, and we really focus on this from a Connect perspective. These reviews can be just star ratings, uh, or they can be uh, star ratings with a description, like we see here on the screen. Um, and again, it's important to know that Google does not verify to ensure that these people are your actual clients, making it even more important for you to be involved and taking control of uh, your online presence through these reviews. Another thing you need to be very familiar with is your Google business profile. If you don't know what that is, um, you should, and uh, immediately after this, you should uh, claim that Google Business Profile. It, this uh, Google Business Profile allows you to put basic and verified information about your business on the internet. There's an example here on the right-hand side of the screen. It's used by Google as the central location for verified information about your firm, and is used for engaging clients as well. So in this example here, we see buttons for website, directions, uh, save and call, we see the, the star rating and the number of reviews. We see the address, the phone number. Um, we see you know, questions and answers, pictures. So a lot of information here is housed about your law firm. And if you don't have ownership of this Google Business Profile, then anything could be out there. Um, you know, Incorrect hours, incorrect location, incorrect phone number. You wanna make sure that this is accurate here. It's really interesting to note that your Google business profile page will typically receive about five times more views than your actual website. So you can have the nicest website out there, you know, really dynamic, really helpful, but a lot of the times people don't even get that far. 
They'll come here, they'll look at your Google business profile, they'll see, all right, 4.8 stars, 49 reviews, that's pretty good. Uh, maybe I'll give them a call, right? Um, or maybe I'll try to send them a text if there's a text option. Um, and, and so it's important to understand that, that a lot of vital information is housed here. And this is where people are looking um, when it comes to your business. According to Google, businesses with a verified Google business profile listing are two times more likely to be seen as reputable. And you can probably, you can probably uh, attest to that, right? If you go online, you search for a business and there's no ratings and there's you know, no information on here. Did they close? You know, are they are they legit? Are they just getting started? What you know? What's the story here? A lot of questions are raised. I mentioned that you need to claim that Google Business Profile. It's very important. So if you don't have access to that right now, you can search your business on Google. Um, Google will display what it knows about your business, and you'll be prompted to uh, own uh, the business here. There's a button that says "Own this business?" question mark, and you can log in and click Manage Now. Uh, Google asks for confirmation, um, but you need to get ownership of your Google business profile immediately if you don't have it already. So I mentioned that some people are still kind of adverse to managing their online uh, presence and managing these online reviews. I want to talk about why they're important, because sometimes you know that, that doesn't sink in with people, so it's important to revisit that. Your online reputation is massive. It's huge. Okay. 93% um, of consumers use reviews as the first step in choosing a business. All right, 87% won't consider a business with low ratings. All right, um, like I mentioned, these online listings get five times more, more views than your actual website. So these reviews are, are your lifeblood to generating leads and to showing a good face for those people that are searching. The online reputation and reviews is the new word of mouth, right? Even if you talk to a friend and they say, I had a good experience at this law firm, what's the first thing you're going to do? You're going to go online, look them up, right? You're going to try to get more information before you just give them a call blindly. And so that's what people do. That's the that's a potential client's habits. They're going to go online. They're going to look for the star rating. They're going to look for you know negative reviews. They're going to look for positive reviews. Is the law firm responding to reviews? They're going to kind of get a feel for how engaged and, and how, how what the experience is that they're going to get with this law firm. And within Connect, that can all be managed, right? So you can see the reviews that are coming in, both from Google and Facebook. You can respond to those reviews in Connect. And you can really take control of that effort of generating reviews and managing that online presence. So super important. The, the modern consumer, the consumer today really cares about these uh, star ratings and these, uh, these reviews. And then reviews matter to Google as well. It's important to understand that. Google's job is to provide the best product for its customer. And that means its job is to provide the best results for someone when they search for attorney near me or law firm near me. They want to provide a good, they want to provide good law firms at the top of that result. And so there's a lot that goes into it, um, but the listing, the, uh, excuse me, star rating and those reviews go a long way in moving up that search result list there, okay? Um, like I mentioned, Google determines the order in which firms are listed partly by ratings and reviews. And then a lot of the times, if you're not in the top three, you won't get clicked, right? 98% of the clicks are in the top three. So you really need to do all you can to improve your, uh, your ranking result uh, in, those, in those lists. Okay, so Google reviews. They matter to, to potential clients. They matter to Google. Let's talk a little bit about negative reviews. This comes up quite a bit. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about how to deal with them. So these happen, right? Negative reviews happen. You can probably attest to this. Whether someone's just having a bad day or they misunderstood a situation, you know, you're going to get a negative review here and there. And there's important things to remember when this happens. So what not to do when you get a bad review? what not to do. The first thing you're, you shouldn't do is nothing. You shouldn't uh, sit back and just let it happen. 
right? You wanna be proactive. And being proactive means responding to that review on Google, okay? Now, but when you respond to that review, you don't wanna be combative, you don't wanna be defensive, you don't wanna be rude, all right? And this goes into what, what you should do when you get a bad review, is respond in a very positive way, encourage further dialogue, and encourage that person to reach out to you or to provide more contact information so you can reach out to them. As a potential client, if I see a law firm doing that with a negative review, it shows me that they care. It shows me that they want their clients to have a good experience. It shows me that they care about their online presence and that goes a long way. And then the key is to bury those bad reviews with good ones, right? Negative reviews are gonna happen, but the key is to bury them with, with good ones. So it makes those bad ones look like more and more of an outlier when they do pop up. People ask all the time, is it possible uh, for Google to take negative reviews down? Maybe you have a situation where you know that someone didn't work with you, they weren't a client of yours, but they still left a negative review. Can I get that taken down? Uh, the answer is yes, but it's quite the process with Google, okay? It's hard to do that with Google. Um, here's a quick screenshot of what, that, what their guidelines look like for getting something removed. But instead, we encourage you to first respond to that review you know, and, and say straight up, you, we don't have a record of you being a client of ours. Um, we'd love to discuss the situation more. And then, like I said, focus on, on getting more positive reviews to bury those negative ones. And let's talk a little bit more about that here. Right? How are we getting those positive reviews? It's important to understand what clients want to see in your reviews. So you can, uh, you can act accordingly here. According to Bright Local, the top four things potential clients are looking for are quality, recency, quantity, and owner response. Okay, so the first one's quality. People want to see that you have a five-star rating or close to a five-star rating. Um, if I come across a law firm with a three-star rating or a two-star rating, probably not gonna be my first click. The next one is recently. Recency, 73% of clients disregard reviews older than 90 days. And that's understandable, right? I don't care what kind of experience people were having a year ago or six months ago. I wanna know what kind of experience you're providing your clients today, you know, last week, within the last few days. That's most important to me. I'm not even gonna read those old reviews. And then quantity. We say a minimum of 50 reviews is absolutely necessary. Once you get past 150, that starts really affecting how you're showing up in those search results. And then, you know, that quantity drives your conversion rate um, with people reaching out to you and, and really increasing the amount of business that you get. And the last one, people want to see owner response, right? They want to see that you are engaged, that you care about your online presence, and that you are responding to both negative and positive reviews. We talk with our clients, uh, our customers of Connect about how to get more positive reviews. And we talk about building a process, right? We encourage them to ask the answer four questions. Who are you going to ask for a review? Right? Is it everyone, just those that you know had a good outcome? Who are you going to ask? You need to answer how you're going to ask. Are you gonna ask them through texting, through email, in person, on the phone? Identify how you're going to do that. And then identify when you're going to ask. Is it before the case, after the case, during the case? What, what does that look like? And then determine who's in charge of asking. It's super important to identify someone at your firm who will be in charge of asking for these reviews. And we've seen it hundreds of times where people think, yeah, this is great, we should definitely do this, but they don't identify a, a person who kind of owns this process. And in so doing, they end up just not asking and they don't generate positive reviews. So it's really important to identify an owner for this process. The second point here is ask in the right way. We talked about that up there, how do you ask? Um, with email, you see about a one to 2% response rate for reviews. With texting, you see about a 38 to 58% response rate for reviews. So we're a little biased here at Connect, but we feel like texting, you know, you're, you're capitalizing on that 98% open rate, and that really helps push those reviews and that online presence. Some additional tactics that we've found to be successful are um, text to ask, right? Text current and past clients. 
Um, you know, even if it's their old clients, they've been, you know, it's a year ago since their case was finalized, you can still reach out to them and ask for reviews. The second one is to include a leave us a review link in your basic email signature. Okay, really simple. You can generate that, that link through Connect. You can throw that in your email signature, provide another opportunity for clients to do that. Emphasize how easy it is. It takes about 15 seconds. Okay, they click on that link, go straight to the page where they can leave a review, They'll select the stars, leave a couple sentences, and they're good to go. We found that it's super important to be clear from day one that your goal is to get them to leave that five-star review. If you put that in their head from the beginning, when you ask them at the end of the case, it's not going to be a surprise. You know, they're going to be there. They know it's coming. They're going to be expecting it and they're going to be prepared to do it. And then use those reviews on your website and other areas in your business. Use them as testimonials. Say, hey, look, this is what people are saying about us. You know, they're having good experiences and, you know, we're working hard for them. We're, we're being very open and very communicative and people are having a good experience with our firm. So there's some additional tactics to consider as well. And to kind of summarize things here, steps to success with online reviews, the first one is take control, right? You need to take control and you need to make sure that you are owning your online presence and the, and the reviews that you're getting. The second, like we talked about, is building a repeatable process, right? Find a point in the process where it makes sense, identify who will be asking for reviews, who they will be asking, how they'll be asking, um, oh, really important to identify that process. And then the third one here, like we mentioned, use text messaging, not email. Text is 35 times more effective than email when it comes to collecting reviews. And the fourth one, respond and start marketing. Respond to every single review that you get. It shows you're engaged, it shows you care. And then use those positive reviews in your marketing, whether it's on your website, uh, at your firm, you know, in your email signature, whatever that may be use those in your marketing efforts. We've seen a lot of law firms have a ton of success with Connect and generating online reviews, and it, it's great. We love to help people do that to build their business. If you have any questions, feel free to text us here, um, or uh, yeah, call or text us here at this number. Uh, I'm not sure if we have any questions um, from the participants uh, in this webinar. Okay. Yeah, if you have a question, throw it into the Q&A there. We can pull it up. Okay, one question that came in from Steve here. How do you compare with Bird's Eye? Um, Bird Eye uh, as another uh, text messaging platform. Uh, to be honest, I don't know a lot about Bird Eye. I know they're uh, in the space, but I think um, probably the best thing for you to, to do to find out is either visit our website at connect.com or reach out to us here at this number. We can set up a quick demo. To, um, to talk about that. Our account executives are well-versed on the differences and how we compare. Good question. Okay, we'll wait just a couple seconds here for any other additional questions. Feel free to type those in through the Q&A section of, of the Zoom tab there. One question that we often get is, how long does it take to get set up with Connect? And it takes about two weeks, okay? So it takes about two weeks to get set up. You'll, get, you'll sign, and then you will be with our onboarding team, and they'll help you get set up with all the technical aspects of your account, you know, get your integration set up if you have integration, get all your users added, get everybody trained. And then from there on out, you will have a, um, you'll have a dedicated customer success manager that uh, will be with you throughout the life of your account their job is to make sure that you get uh, a, a good experience and you get the most out of the tool. So to answer your question, two weeks there to get set up. Next question here is, are you affiliated with Sterling's Connect, uh, which we used to run background checks on new employees? Um, not sure. I've never heard of Sterling's Connect. Um, do a little bit of research there, but we are not affiliated with them that I know of if I'm reading your question correctly. 
Okay, uh, another question here. One problem is with text is usually all you see is a phone number and not a client's name. Is there a better way? So going back to that text us button on your website, when a client texts in, you can make it so that a name is required to send that text message to you. And when they do so, that'll come through your connect inbox and it'll show their first and last name to make sure that you are getting that information. So we have, a, you know, partly a way to, to make sure you're getting a name and a number, you know, but in some cases people will just text out, text to you and, and not provide that. And that, that, uh, that's always a possibility. So that's a good question. All right, well, I think we'll wrap up there. Thank you so much for your participation. Um, thanks a lot for joining us today. Again, huge thanks to Beverly Hills Bar Association for hosting this. If you have any questions about Connect, feel free to call or text us at this number on the screen. Um, have a great rest of your day and hopefully we'll talk soon.